As exhibits go, this is what you might call in your face. Let's see what I look like at 78. Oh, there you go. Look, I have some wrinkles. The human race machine uses a software program the FBI's had for years that projects what visitors look will look like later in life. This is 10 years later. What do you think? I don't see much difference. Well, that's good. That's good, right? But the program does something else. By mapping certain points on your face, it can change your race. And it works, usually. Can you see the difference there? This is neat. Mavis Knight wanted to know what she would look like if she were Middle Eastern. So she sat for a photo, told the computer where to find her eyes, nose, mouth, and chin, and moments later saw a very different face. Well, look at that. I'm telling you. The program allows users to see themselves as white, black, Asian, Hispanic, or Indian. You're so used to yourself. I kind of have an anticipation of what I'm going to see. Uh, and when it changes, it's like, hello. <laughs> I guess it's appropriately named the human race machine because that's really what we all belong to, more so than our individual um, um, racial appearances. The United Methodist Commission on Religion and Race brought the machine to the denomination's general conference to make a point, according to booth planner John Coleman. There's very little biological distinction between us as people in terms of race. There's more biological distinction whether you're left-handed or right-handed than what race you are. Coleman says the machine has been a hit, but it doesn't just entertain. More than any other, perhaps, this one transforms. I think the lesson for me is that we're still more alike than we are different, even when our features change.